Ever since Windows 98, Internet Explorer has been deeply integrated into the OS itself. What if we strip it instead? Well, that's the purpose of this mod. The setup doesn't have any significant changes, but what is changing is when the setup finishes. No out-of-the-box experience. Well, you may wonder why. Well, this is because the OBE actually consisted of several HTML pages with ActiveX components. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, boys, no OBE for you. Restarting the OS after VMware Tools has been installed, and we can see that the XP login screen is stripped away because there is one crucial component of Windows that has been changed, and that affects the login screen, which we will later talk into the video. Logging into the desktop, you can see that the visual style has been entirely reverted back to Windows classic look like Windows 9X, NT 4.2, 2000, and Me users. Although the icons on the desktop still use Windows XP icons. The taskbar uses the classic one, and guess what? The start menu has been reverted to the classic one too with all its applications lists. And since this is a classic start menu, well, no recent apps <laughs> and no pinned apps. It's just the good old simple start menu. By clicking my computer, wait, why does this navigation feel familiar? Doesn't this feel like Windows 95 does? Well, yeah, because it is, or more precisely, Windows NT 4.0. Why do I say Windows NT 4.0? The reason is because with this XP uses Windows NT 4.0 version of Explorer. So, no task paint and all those fancy little things that we saw in Windows XP. That's a big takeaway from me personally. This is mainly due to Explorer itself he is running IE shell components and elements from several files such as browseui.dll, chdocvw.dll, browselc.dll, and shdoclc.dll. We've already seen a big leap at the start. <laughs> well, I wonder how far can we get? Looking at the control panel, we can see that the styling is similar to NT 4.0. The applets are still behaving mostly the same because they don't really use Internet Explorer components. But what is changing heavily is the user account applet. <laughs> Some of you noticed that this XP uses NetPL Wiz. Well, this is because XP user account is actually uses HTML. Wow, yeah, you can see this by holding shift while clicking anywhere in the applet. How fortunate is that? <laughs> Speaking of unfortunate, thankfully, system applications aren't using any Internet Explorer components like Calculator, Notepad, WordPad, and Paint. And as you would expect, you can't find Internet Explorer within this Windows XP. Well, heck, don't even bother. As for other system applications, there isn't much left in here. We get some essentials like Command Prompt, Task Manager, Sound Recorder, Magnifier, On-Screen Keyboard, and Remote Desktop. You notice that Lunar theme isn't in here, right? Well, the creator of this experiment said that Luna can be a bit tricky and quirky to run in here. But you can still customize other aspects of the OS like the desktop background, which only has tiled background, screensaver, and the classic theme like all these that I am trying. Alright, let's go through all the programs that have been stripped and I'll tell you as easy as possible for the reason of deletion. Windows Media Player is gone in here due to, well, mainly media guide part of the app is using Internet Explorer. And because of that, there is no Windows Movie Maker because no media player to begin with. Outlook Express is not available in here because of its HTML application. And because of that, Address Book is removed from this OS because it is tied to the Outlook Express. 
sample media in here is gone because how can you even play on this thing? Picture viewer is non-functional in here because of a bug. No Windows XP 2 well, well, not the Flash version, but the non-animated version that does use HTML. Help and support doesn't even want to run in here because CHM files are essentially a compiled HTML pages. Even though if you press F1 on the desktop, you'll be prompted to give Windows.HLP file which you didn't have. Yeah, that is how many Windows elements that are stripped because of Internet Explorer. This is the closest that you have to the no IE please version of Windows. Heck, even on Windows 11, you still have IE even though it's deliberately hidden. One cheeky quirk that I found in this is that when you summon a Eula from WinVer, the Explorer crashes, but that's not the problem. And when the Explorer crashes, if you have no window open, you'll get the click here to begin in the taskbar. Thanks to Aurorian, the same person who made XP error and main C for making this little experiment. Hey, this is just Windows XP, right? How about Windows 11? Well, I might wanna...